back again. Continuing on our quest to uh, <clears throat> defeat Ramona's seven evil exes. Uh, Clash of Demon Head, which is an old NES game that served as the inspiration for the name of the band. Um, that Ramona's ex and Scott's ex are both in. Crash and the Boys is also an NES reference. Which I think is pretty cool. Again, the pseudo hipster. Okay, actually, Scott Bradley's books are all pretty hipster. Take that, fangirls. All that little video game trivia. But it makes this game so neat. Cardboard box me. Rawr. Jump kick for days, son. Blam! So again, graphic novel. Started as a movie. Inspired this awesome video game, which is so, you know, it references so much stuff that it almost becomes unique in its own weird little way. You know. The movie had enough movie references and enough game references that all this stuff can be in the same universe and not feel out of place. There's also a really jamming cartoon. Um, so there's a... S Scott and Kim have a backstory in the books that uh, is not really elaborated. Like, there's a flashback scene in the book, which is really good, but they don't really have time to get into it in the... Um, in the movie, and there's even a scene where he's like, I kicked a guy hard enough to see the curvature of the world. They actually show that in the book, and it was hilarious. Um, but they did a tie-in animation that aired as like an extended preview for the film. And, you know, a lot of the voices from Avatar, uh, Korra, and, and, and uh, Toph were both in it, um, which was awesome. Um, there's just so much awesome stuff coming out for this movie, like... The soundtrack was solid. Everything about this movie was kind of awesome. Um, and like, yeah, sure, I mean, maybe I've got target, you know, exactly the target audience blinders on. Um, but still, it's, it, was, it was really awesome. I really liked the books. Loved the game. Loved the soundtrack even more. It was like, again, maybe I've just got too many, like, personal memories tied in. But, like, I got my first car, like, shortly after I bought the soundtrack. And this film's soundtrack became my driving around in my car jam for a while. I just, uh, guess I don't understand, well, why it's more popular, but then again, I mean, if it was super popular, it would have to stop being popular, because I'm a hipsterness. <laughs> oh, come on, fuck. Getting beat up. Not good. Too many bouncers. Oh, there's Envy Adams. 
Scott's ex-girlfriend. That's Ramona's ex-boyfriend. And their drummer. Fooling around in the bathroom. This is another thing. It's a big deal in the books that they didn't really talk about in the movie. Beat the shit out of my ex-girlfriend. Oh. Stay corrected. Huh? Hey! <coughs> Look at that. Sneezing on air. No. My ex got all sad. No, I want that last quarter. Damn it. I'm surprised he didn't pick up the corner and walk through it. I should do that. I love those posters. It's usually supposed to take more than a couple hits, but I, uh, I have more levels than I should for this part. Okay. <laughs> Base battle. Why outside? Let's fight inside. Oh, he tasered me with his fancy hair. I don't know if that's an Akira reference, but I hope so. Damn, the tasering. He's got uh, vegan powers because he's a vegan guy, so uh, he gets psychokinetic powers from not eating meat. Because, uh, you know, humans only use so much of their brain power. Want the life! Get the life! Okay, oh, oof. got a one man. <laughs> but that's because the rest of us, our minds are full of curds and whey because of all of our dairy products and meat that we eat. So by being a hardcore vegan, he's gained psychic powers and uh, the right to be more, you know, just by default better than everyone. <laughs> There's so much stupid shit in these movies, I love it. Oh, it's hilarious. Makes me laugh. Mid-air makeouts. Boom. Pew. Off to the next Evil X. So in the movie, she, uh, Roxy just kind of shows up, you know, she's the, the female ex, um, and, uh, but, uh, it was, uh, I liked it a lot better in the books, because Scott was moving at the same, oh, that's a person, sorry, Scott was moving at the same time, so there was, like, this whole, like, living arrangement subplot happening all at the same time, T got tied into where the fight was happening, it was pretty funny. Stop, oh, damn it.
Oh, making a game. Trip out. Too good at video games. Ah. <laughs> this is a you see this all you see this all the time people hanging on top of the public transit system Oh crap. I've never been kicked off. Uh, how come I kicked off? That guy can't. Oh god. Why do these guys have masks on? I never noticed that before. <laughs> Wham! I'm a whale on you, bro. No! Oh. God! Oh, okay. Sweet. I don't seem to have suffered a health penalty. I'll take it. No, I wanted that 10 cents. Yeah, I actually think it was from him punching me. I don't know how many of those little mash X to respawn bonuses I got left. This guy's buff. Holy shit. Ah! <laughs> I'll even, yeah, I deserve to lose the one man to that. Push up. Do not die. Ah, crap. Lost a one man. Go forward. Why am I not moving as far forward as I'm trying? The buttons I'm pushing. Okay. You gonna be Roxy? There she is. I like how much of... I think I've seen more of Toronto's public transit system in this game than actual Toronto public transit. It is a very limited system for, a, frankly, a ridiculously large city. Like retitle this game like Ultimate Toronto Bum Fights. Just pretend Scott Pilgrim's like a homeless man. And he's beating up bums to get their spare change. We're not fellow bums, he's beating up people to take their change. Oh no! Take that! Oh god! Fuck off with that, you! Give me back my sword. Ah, oh, crap. Hope I can eat that chicken, Castlevania style.
There you go. Put you out. <laughs> These guys are flaming! There! Okay. I was hoping I could knock the stool into them. Ah. I like how it's easier for me to just kind of wait for them to take themselves out of the game. God damn, I'm pushing the punch button. I don't think I can. Oh, that was close. Okay, I'm only a hundred bucks away from paying off Scott's late fees. I'm gonna do that. Holy crap! Wah! Everything's on fire! I got like a Turtles in Time vibe from these ninjas. I like it. They look like the foot. really need to remember that there is a... Well, I guess you can't block with an item. Oh. But there is a block button that I never use. Pick up swords, guy. <coughs> Excuse me. Pick up sword. There we go. Oh. Subspace door. Miss the piggies. We're looking good. We're up. Damn, I want one of those attacks. Jeez. The ninjas have gotten surprisingly better while I was in subspace. Okay, never been down here before. I like how Knives' his mom is just kind of hanging out everywhere. Oh. It's a water hazard. I want the loony. I'm only $75 away from... Nope! Stop! Mm. <laughs> wow! Oh yeah. I guess it just creates a fire hazard. Come back, piggy. Uh.
trying to find that sweet spot you can stand and the coins will fall into you naturally, so you don't have to fetch them afterwards. Yay, quarters. Get up there. there like how excited I am, I'm hitting the friggin' pause button in my haste to beat the hell out of piggy banks. The fighting wasn't going well, so I just grabbed a stick and beat the hell out of her with it. Yeah. Little stuffed andibles that are money. Okay. I'll take it. Yeah. Flying mech out. Bruh. Right on. I should really figure out if uh, I play with one of the other characters, the cutscenes change. Anyway, there we go. On to Evil X number five. 